internet. Let's see if we Zegers. We're spawning back here in the playground. So far we made it to a trader, established a base. And we should be coming in here morning just before that jingle. Oh right, I forgot we get a spawn button now. So I should just start at the spawn button. Upgrades. Just like my mic maybe. Have to figure out if the tweaks worked or not. Might have to do more later too. But uh Mike should be a little better now. As for what we're going to do loading in, I don't remember exactly what we have. And I kind of have a new idea with how the base could be set up. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with that or not, though. It kind of seems like a good idea to do at least one more, possibly two more jobs. By two more jobs, hopefully have enough to buy cooking pot and have a bit more water accumulated by then and possibly food too he also had a grill at the trader which might be a good idea to grab the grill too if we can. Trader Rick is open for business. Buy Rick or get Rick. Yeah, how do I want to do this? Because I'm building to defend toward the trader, so eventually I'll run out of room. So I think in the end, this hallway will be an electrical kind of an electric trap set up where we got a hidden line or protected line, have like a post here, line come out this way, another protected post, and then an area where we could sit and shoot before we'd have to retreat up. That's kind of like a last stand area. <coughs> that way if they were to breach that far too. I mean electricity helps a lot. They just get stuck and you can wail on them. 
we need food to They take chests out. What? <laughs> what are you doing to me, game? I'm just taking my life away. <laughs> Changing my buttons, and now I can't even craft the chest. I don't really want to craft that other thing. <coughs> See how big and bulky. Um, I guess I just gotta deal with it. Plus, I'm gonna drink this. Because the kind of cool thing with being on a lower difficulty, like zombie damage and health wise, we should be able to get by with just bandages a lot. That seems a lot closer than that. <laughs> Was that assisted? <laughs> I think it was. Assist, no. What is this?
don't really want spare some horsepower in here. Vibrations. I don't know. It's kind of just spooking me because it it vibrates more to all those little challenges. I guess. I think they're challenges. Whenever you do something like that, or all the little things where it comes up with any kind of message now, it seems to rumble. I don't know if I like that or not. I guess I'll leave it on for a little while. It kind of adds a spook effect. Pretty much everything to start a farm right there. And if we can grab some more meat here. Right, we get eggs from chickens because of a mod. That's probably one of the best mods I've ever found. It doesn't particularly make sense, but it kind of sort of does. <laughs> In a way, somehow. Where the job is the book farm.
bitch. Yeah, wow, that is horrible. Especially seeing if we could drop some. I don't think we got to a main stash. I don't know what I mean there.
see what we're working with. Nice. Finding four of those things is pretty awesome. I think that's the plastic and a nice amount of oil too. Get lost. Wipe that smirk off your face. Doing one job doesn't make us pals. Got it? Yeah. I kind of want to go with pipe bombs, but that's not a whole lot. I think for the effort that I go through to make five pipe bombs, 500 wood is more work. Well, come to think of it, I do. Well, good luck. By the looks of it, you're gonna need it. Probably should have did northeast. That would have taken us to the same city we were just in. Okay. I got a look at my map before we load it in, and I have a general idea where we are. Since this is wasteland here, there's a pretty fair sized city right here, and then a big chunk of wasteland up here, and there's a huge, like most of it looked like just one big city. soon but maybe by week two or three try to make a trip up there especially if we have a vehicle by then buy stuff before I try anything smart and you'll get a new start cooking pot but also I don't know if you can make bacon and eggs and start making it work. Oh those get us pretty close. And what can I throw? Chairs, no. paper. Oh, we picked up seven six two. Sweet. So we got all the ammo dope for the trip. So, um, Is not bad, I guess. 
I can sell one of these. I probably didn't have to do that. I just want to make sure I'm set up. We do have five monkey waters now. All that gawking at goods and that's all you buy? Drink that. <laughs> so I was thinking I could just make this side a horde base and make kind of like storage area separate over there, but then connect it later. As the base gets really big, just end up connecting it. But, uh, actually, no, I don't. I don't want to do that. stay encumbered for a bit. Staying on toggle, and even if I stop, I'll still sprint if I don't shut it off. I don't like that. I prefer that. Shut down. Try to clear all this. I don't like these big bushy trees. can make bacon and eggs. I mean, we got tons of eggs. The 
They must have added or increased how much eggs you get by default because I didn't increase that. And I think you could get four, but you had to have to be able to get four at a time. You get one or two sometimes too. Easy one. Opens up the edge of town and more likely to see zombies. Not a bad town so far, too. It's pretty cool. Especially this world. Not bad. I should probably try to get a sneak arrow in on him first. I'm pretty tired. bunch of zombies. We'll investigate that further another day. Also probably avoid her for now. There might be blueberries at that house. I think there's a little farm inside of that house.
get this tree and then that one over there. Head back. Wow. <laughs> why, why would you have that one? We're pretty opened up now. We just just for some shade. That actually looks not bad. Does one arrow do anything? I guess so. like it does white follows the sun so I don't remember the shadows feeling this good before unless uh, maybe I had them off before that could have been it too mm, I kind of want to get this tree it's covering a potential horde too close to the base good enough for now. Maybe I don't like this one tree over here. <laughs> this has got to go to my way. It also really helps for hunting too. in the vicinity of your base. Do these disappear? They will. Remember when those would just stay there empty and be really annoying? Okay, now we can do some real work. Thank you. 
thinking eleven. I mean, I want to go taller just to do it, but eleven's probably enough. The taller I make the base, I gotta use so much more material just to add level. Let's go 13. It's easy, like, uh, oh, I can never get that one. When zombies pile up and jump, I think to prevent them from jumping over you gotta put an extra two so every two that you add that's one one more zombie that they would need to be like cheerleader towering to make double jump up there Thicker ones, because you see them through the dirt better. <laughs> and then up here, those ones. I'm gonna make this three high burner. I go up and start building stuff. Just cause I know if I get a horde here, they can pile up and get over two really easily. I'm pretty sure they can still get up on three too. You need four to stop. I've seen them stack pretty high before, six or seven. Six or seven. That's a big crowd of zombies for them to stop by. It's kind of scary sometimes when they do that. Because the more coordinated they are, focus on jumping on each other sometimes they get pretty tall and have a very small amount of zombies so they suppose 
crazy sometimes. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes they surprise you. This is a precaution for tonight, too. Oops. Uh, yeah. That probably works. How do I flip this now? This way, if something comes, I got a easier time trying to shoot at it. And yeah, that should be enough to stop two zombies. Oh no, a big... That actually might not be. Or... I don't know, because... Uh, if two zombies get up on that door frame, let's see if they can do that. They can. If two of them can fit up here and then they pile, I might have to just close the door for now, which is probably the wrong idea. Probably won't stay like that, it's just in case we get overwhelmed and there's more than a few. Probably don't have to fill these in, but just to be on the safe side. So I don't think they lose structural integrity going up. So you could build a base on just sky frames. But I'd rather not test it now and have it crumble on it. So we'll fill in at least these three and then go from there.
should give me enough to build what we're going to have up here for now. Once you have parkour and stuff in the game, that is fine, but this is pretty high up for early game. Easily break stuff. could go good here. I mostly just want to keep Oh right. Cop puke explodes on the bars. I won't pass those. Unless they fix that. That could be a possibility. I'll try it like this, maybe, yeah, maybe, <laughs> it 
It might glitch on me. I don't like that. Just in the room for it. Because I want to do the solid blocks. If we're going to do a wall, this will probably be left open for the longest time. And then I'll put a wall right here. And I'm thinking it's probably better to have a solid up here. Because if cops are spitting at us from down there. I'll hit the solid and destroy the blocks first, is what I'm thinking. And then that probably helps because I could repair the block from here, so. Should probably just do a cube to be safe. I just hope it holds up for now. support first now. Uh, I really don't want to fall here. Is that enough? That's got to be enough. No. <laughs> Decide. Yes. Looks like I'm just gonna fall. No, please. Yes. So basically, I put the campfire here, and as I'm as I build out and stuff and have more of these in between if cops are puking up this should stop cop puke if it doesn't anymore then we gotta deal with being hit but at least anything I set down on here it'll hit the block first and not destroy the campfire and chest and all the stuff that I put down that we can make some of these well, I mean for now it's probably just gonna be a dump chest <laughs> things out as we go. Uh, medical book. I think I actually do need to read those ones. Tools, probably not. Usually just find better ones, never have to craft them. We got a good start on seeds. We've already got corn, potato, and pumpkin. Oh, 
Oh, and blueberry. Yeah, we're set. We can do pies with corn and pumpkin or corn and blueberry. Ended up with three cooking pots. Cheers. Thank you. What can I make? All right, you gotta read the dumb books to be able to know all this. My freaking baking man. That's one of the dumbest changes I don't like. You should, you gotta read how to make a baked potato, come on. points for it. <laughs> what, we're still level one? Yeah, we're still level one. Progression is pretty, pretty fun though. That's what I wanted to try to switch up by doing what I did with more skill points, but it takes forever to level. Sometimes I feel like by the time you're finally feeling like you can go have fun, not have to worry, and have some POIs be somewhat easy, by then your level's too high and all the zombies are all green and just really OP. <laughs> so by the time you're OP, everyone else is OP, so you're not OP. kind of deal not all the time but that works out often I, f I find not that I just want it too easy all the time but it's nice to feel like everything's actually pretty strong now and it doesn't take especially on like insane difficulty it takes so many bullets to kill green ones Like you never really upgraded it just <laughs> I don't know if you're using cooler stuff but it doesn't work any better oh no yeah we don't want to want that not if we don't have to it is down here maybe I should have that way If we ever, ever end up having to actually use that, what about, can I make, I can make a pipe shotgun. And the pipe rifle is good for hunting. I just don't. No duct tape's really important. Maybe a pipe shotgun's not a good idea to make. Oh, hang on. Man. I'm also going to do this. I forgot I had creative mode on. And I really don't think it's going to hurt anything. I totally wouldn't have bought that cooking pot if I knew I was going to find two in a backpack right outside of the trader. So at least to make it a little better, we got a cooking grill out of it instead. 
and all it all it did was I think it made it so we can make grilled meat, which we can't even make yet anyway. So just cushions the blow a little bit, a little bit. Let's see, we don't need those. Probably don't need these for now. Keep banjis on us. What about? Why can't I make? Dude just wakes up one day and forgets everything he knows how to ever, ever have done. That's an interesting way of putting that. Yeah, kind of. Sort of makes sense, maybe. Oh, this yucca might help us a lot. Because it gives us so much hydration. 30, isn't it? 34. put them down here. Why is the space so small though? It looks like a chest. That's cool if I can just upgrade the chest and then it will hold more. Probably end up picking up feathers right away anyway, but uh, that should keep this tight over for now. Yeah, probably end up picking up feathers right away anyway, but whatever. stay here that's gonna be the end of this one there's I don't know I could have so much to say I'm just trying to think what we're doing where we're going we got a lot to do a lot we can do I kind of want to do more base work too but we really need money now because thinking of it I think they might have nerfed fetch quest money or just nerf money in general because that fetch quest didn't give me very much <laughs> maybe I gotta look into upping perks for rewards too because I forgot about that yeah we really just need to level and then figure out what we're doing because we'll get 10 points that'll help a lot 
maybe uh, upgrade the base until we level and then go from there or do this job and go from there. We got enough set up now to where at least we got the campfire and cooking pot with it, which is nice because we should, every time we go out, we'll probably find some water so that we can cook it now. That's a big help. And yeah, a sort of a safe place to dump stuff too. So it's looking good so far. Just there's so much I could do. I don't know what we're going to do yet. <laughs> we'll just see what we do. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.